little hippity hop it. Little little a little hippity hop it. Little little a little hippity hop it. Hey, hi, my name is Luisa Curero, better known as Vitrola. Hey, I am a Venezuelan artist and I've been in art, involved in art for the last, I don't know, 20, 25 years since I born, but professionally like 15 years. Uh, my name is Brennan Bova. I've been, I work in the animation industry and I have for almost 13 years now. Hi, my name is Almira and well, I've been painting for three years, but I feel like I've been an artist since I was 14, so a while. <laughs> Salut, ici Mick Michel. Uh, je suis graffiti, ça fait environ 8 ans que je fais ça à plein temps, puis je m'en viens peinturer ici à Ottawa au Urban Arts Collective. Woohoo! What do you think of the street art scene in Ottawa? Yeah. And do you think it should change or how, should it, how can it grow? I didn't know about it uh, since I met the guys from the collective. I, I know, now I know that there is a huge growing art scene in Ottawa and I think it's evolving. Uh, well, I, I have to admit I don't actually know all that much about the street art scene in Ottawa, so I guess my answer would have to be that I'd like to see it promoted more so that, like, that even someone like me who is getting involved in the art community, I just don't know that much yet, so I'd really like to know more and for other people to know more. So I'm pretty new to the art scene in Ottawa. Um, since I've been only painting for three years. I would love to see a lot more artists. I would love to see a lot more artists getting together and working on projects. So it feels more like of a community. I, I would love to see that. Uh, la scène d'art à Ottawa, je trouve qu'elle est très vaste. C'est pas possible à décrire tout d'un shot. T'as des gens qui font toutes sortes de choses. T'as des gens qui osent, puis c'est ça qu'est-ce qu'on a besoin. And what do you think of the street art scene? Um, je trouve que il y a beaucoup de tension entre proprio et artistes en conséquence des lois de la ville. Je, quand, je pense comme municipalité puis comme ville, on est capable de faire mieux. Last question, like the disruption to you, what is it? What does that mean? To you? Um, well, the event itself, I think, is it, it's just an incredible opportunity for me. And I, I, what I like about it is that I think it is cool that they're inviting in people who aren't familiar with the scene and don't know as much about the scene, and they're kind of giving me the tools to learn about it and get better at it. I recently found out about the Urban Art, Urban Art Collective <laughs> and they were really friendly and open. It, so it felt really easy. And just meeting other artists was amazing. It, it actually starting to feel like a community. Um, so this event, the Disrupt event, I think it's really fun. It's actually what I'm, that's exactly what I want. I want artists to come together and work on a project together. So I'm actually really, really excited about this project. It's rad. Yeah. Uh, swim against the, the current, like the salmon. That's what this, this rock is. Ben, quand tu vois juste aujourd'hui, on est juste ici pour parler de logistique. Puis les idées qui se passent, les collaborations qui se passent, c'est absolument incroyable. Aussi de voir le plus qu'on se parle, le plus qu'on se réunit, nos épaules, notre fierté, notre identité, notre bien-être, notre santé mentale, ça date et va super bien. Donc si un de ces rencontres est capable de faire ça, imagine-toi si tu nous laisses oser puis de, de cette liberté, puis si on est capable de faire ça tout partout dans tous les quartiers d'Ottawa. I got them for Easter. You did. They're amazing. <laughs> they look good. Are my ears okay? We're bringing eggs, baby. We're bringing eggs. All the eggs. Be here. Yeah. Don't bring the eggs. Don't bring chocolate eggs only. Don't bring eggs. We're allergic to eggs. Don't bring peanuts either. <laughs>